Hi, I'm Doug Shoup. I'm the Southeast Area Agronomist for Kansas State University. And I'm Rod Schaub. I'm one of the Extension Agents in the Frontier Extension District. We're here today to talk a little bit about controlling unwanted tree and brush species. Now, trees generally can be a good thing, and so they provide aesthetic benefits. They can provide some shading and some wind breaks for our livestock. Uh, they can provide habitat and food for a lot of our desirable wildlife species. But we get a problem when we have some tree species out there that tend to be a little bit more invasive. And so, Rod, what are a few of the tree species you fight with here in Franklin County that can tend to be a problem in our pastures and rangeland? Well, probably three of our most problematic trees would be hedge, locust, and eastern red cedar. Now, there are other species, uh, hackberry, mulberry, ash, those species are also uh, a problem, but not typically as invasive as, as those first three that we were discussing. Really, any time of year could be a good time to control unwanted trees and brush. Uh, summer, generally, we recommend foliar applications of herbicides, but you can obviously see here we're in the winter and the fall months, and so we're going to show you a few tips and some uh, ideas about controlling some of these unwanted tree and brush species this time of year. Well, once we get the tree down, now it's time to treat the stump, and we like to do that probably within uh, 20 to 30 minutes of the time we get, get that uh, stump cut, because if we don't, uh, it's gonna start to heal over. So now, we don't treat the whole stump, if you look here, you can see right inside the bark, that's the area that needs to be treated. This is called the cambium layer, and the cambium layer is what takes the, uh, what will take the chemical down to the root system. So when we do this, we'll just, we'll go right along the edge here, right along this cambium layer, and if you get a little bit and it goes out onto the bark, that's not a bad thing, because it will, it will be absorbed through that bark into the tree. We want to treat uh, our deciduous trees with a, with a herbicide product. When we get to eastern red cedars, when we cut those trees off, we cut them at the ground or we need to cut them at least below the bottom most green limb. And if you cut them below that point, uh, those trees will not come back and they do not need to be treated with a herbicide. Okay, so what Rod's doing now, the next technique that you can use for controlling really big trees, and I think this is an advantage, is uh, again, just like that cut stump treatment we did uh, in the previous example, we only need to really get into that cambium layer, just inside the bark. And so uh, just putting about an inch or two cut or a ring around the edge of that bark of that tree to get into that cambium layer, and then just treating that little cut area with your herbicide uh, will allow that herbicide to go ahead and translocate down to the root system and go ahead and kill this big tree. So the couple advantages, you don't have to go through all the effort of cutting an entire humongous diameter tree down, but maybe also a safety aspect and so we have to, we reduce the risk of having that tree actually fall on top of us. Alright, so uh, we're at our third and final technique for the fall and winter uh, brush control methods and the last one that we have here is a basal bark treatment. And so. Uh, and also what we have here, the last tree was a locust tree. We're going to go ahead and uh, kill this hedge tree uh, with a premix of diesel and herbicide. And so, Rod, tell us what you're going to do here to, to kill this tree this winter. Well, what I'm going to do to this tree is come up here about 18 to 24 inches above the tree, and I'm going to wet this tree all the way around this tree, clear to the ground. I want to make it puddle kind of down around the ground. So, in other words, we're going to start up here like this. When you get started, you want that to run down that trunk of that tree. You want it to go all the way from your 18 inches all the way down to the soil line. You want it to puddle down at that soil line because a lot of times that's where the tree will come back. If it's going to come back, it'll come back from the crown of that tree. So you want to treat all the way around this. You want it to run down. You want it to uh, puddle it a little bit at the bottom. It doesn't need to be excessive but you do want to treat it, and this is an exceptionally good way to kill uh, hedge trees. 
Well, we just showed you three effective techniques to control unwanted tree and brush species during the fall and winter months. Now, the, another couple options could be using granular or pelletized herbicides out there that when applied to the base of the tree at the soil surface can also be effective on certain tree species. Also, there's different herbicides out there that may be a little bit more effective than other herbicides. So please visit your local county extension office to get specific rates, label information, and matching the correct herbicide with the tree species that you're wanting to control. With that, thanks for your time. We hope you found this video useful.